So someone asked about Whipple's disease, and of course we don't have time to talk about all of Whipple's disease, but I'll tell you what the kind of neurop things about Whipple's disease are. So Whipple's disease is an infectious disorder. It's called by caused by Trophyrema uh, whippelli, the Whipple organism. It causes diarrhea and foamy macrophages, and you have to do a biopsy to get the diagnosis in uh, with the colonoscopy. However, what we're looking for is the organism, and we can do PCR now for uh, Trophyrema whippelli. For neuro-ophthalmology, it comes to us as op unexplained ophthalmoplegia and neurocognitive deficits. So they kind of have this progressive neurocognitive deficit in the setting of diarrhea. And one of the things you need to know about Whipple's disease, it has a very peculiar and almost pathognomonic finding, which is they get this convergence, divergence movement that is synchronous or asynchronous with their jaw. So they get this jaw protrusion and then the eye converge, diverge, converge. And that thing is called oculomasticatory myorrhythmia. And uh, I encourage you to go on Google and look up a video of this so you can see what it looks like because if you see it, it's almost always Whipple's disease. In fact, I'm not aware of anything else that causes this, but I hesitate to say pathognomonic. So diarrhea plus this convergence, divergence, and jaw movement, oculomasticatory myorrhythmia, and PCR in the CSF or uh, the small bowel biopsy to look for Whipple's disease. And the reason it's important is it's treatable with antibiotics. So to treat it with antibiotics. So look up oculomasticatory myorrhythmia if you're interested in the pathognomonic finding of Whipple's.